Assalamu alaikum everyone, assalamu alaikum and hello, this is Mariam uh, from Beyond with HCM. For those who will be joining us for the first time, welcome. And for those who have been following us previously, welcome back. And thank you so much. Um, in the beginning of the session, I will an introduction about our company HCM. What, who is HCM? HCM is basically a global education consultancy. Uh, we started off from Canada. We have our headquarters there, and now we have spread over North Africa and Middle East countries. And now we are here in Pakistan. So what is our main goal here at HCM? Yes, we do um, offer student counseling and career advancement opportunities to our students. But with that, we really focus on our customer service because we believe in lifelong partnership with our customers that are our students. So uh, it will be great for you to know that our counselors here are ISEF certified. ISEF certification is basically International Certification for Education and Affairs. Uh, basically, it is a golden, opportunity, golden certification for career counseling. That means our counselors are well taught and well trained to give you career, um, your education advice for a broad education. Okay. So I'm really excited about today's session, which is with Mercy College. Um, let me give you a brief introduction about that as well before we move on. Uh, Mercy College is a private university with, uh, with its main campus in Dobbs Ferry, New York, and additional location in Manhattan, the Bronx, and Yorktown Heights. Mercy College has five schools business, education, health and natural sciences, uh, liberal arts, and social and behavioral sciences. And they offer more than 90 undergraduate and graduate degrees and certificate programs. The uh, student body comes from 43 states and 54 countries. So let's move on with the session. Let me introduce you, Ms. Sonia. She is the Associate Director of International Admissions at the University. Uh, help, welcome, Sonia, for, for today's session. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to tell you about Mercy and New York and hopefully get some great questions. And we are excited to know. Please carry on. Amazing. So I will start by sharing my screen. I have a pretty quick presentation um, full of great photos, great information all about Mercy College. Can you see my screen? Am I good? Yes. Amazing. So welcome everyone from hopefully lots of different places around the world. Um, as Mariam said, my name is Sonia. I am the Associate Director of International Admissions here at Mercy. I am always happy to help you via email or WhatsApp. I definitely recommend working with the EdCM team because they are very responsive, very helpful, and also talk with me a lot. So working through them is great because they help you through the whole process, including application, acceptance, and the visa process, which can get a little bit confusing. So I would definitely recommend having a helper. Um, but I am also here and my team is here to help you, you know, from now all in, up until you get here to New York. So feel free to get in touch anytime. And I am excited to tell you about why you should come and choose Mercy College. So what we'll talk about today, I'll tell you a little bit about us, our locations, our academic programs, what we can offer you as an international student on the school side. Also talk about life on campus. So what it actually looks like to live here and study here in New York. We'll talk a little bit about the application process, upcoming events and important dates. And of course, we'll have lots of time for questions because I'm sure as much as I'll talk right now, there will still be things that you are wondering and I am happy to help with. So if you have any questions, please put them in the question Q&A and we will get to them at the end. So what should you know about Mercy College? We had that great overview but a lot of you might not have heard of us, and that is fine. So Mercy College is number one in New York City. We are a four-year private college. Um, college doesn't mean we're a community college. We are technically a university. We're accredited with the same you know, degrees and the same allowances. We can do all the things that a university can do. We are just a private college. We are funded by donations, by tuition. We are not getting a lot of money from the state. 
Don't let all of that scare you about money. <laughs> I'll talk about how much we cost in a little bit. But the number one thing we want you to know about Mercy is that we are in New York. That picture is taken right outside where I am right now in our Manhattan campus. You might recognize the Empire State Building. We really are right across the street from it. So we have our multiple campuses in the area, and that includes our New York City campus and also our Manhattan, I'm sorry, our New York Manhattan campus, our Dobbs Ferry campus, and also our Bronx campus. Um, Dobbs Ferry, I'll talk a little bit about it, show you some pictures in a second. Manhattan, again, right by the Empire State Building, very, very new. We do have dormitories on this campus, which is very unique to Mercy. We're one of the only schools that actually has you know, a real campus in the city that comes with dormitories. We have a library, we have you know, computer science, cybersecurity, business analytics labs. It really feels like a college and that can be hard to find in New York because New York, things are expensive and small. <laughs> All of the restaurants you'll go to, museums, everything does feel a little bit smaller because it's expensive to be in the city. We have expanded a lot in the last two years and now we have a huge, wonderful campus right in the center of Manhattan. Our Dobbs Ferry campus is even bigger. Um, it's kind of our main campus, we like to say. It's our bigger, it's our more, um, more residential campus. So Dobbs Ferry is a little bit outside New York if you're looking for something a little bit more calm, a little bit less happening all the time, a little bit more quiet, but also still with on-campus activities, really great access to the city. Dobbs Ferry is a very good place. Um, Dobbs Ferry is about a 30 to 40 minute train ride from our Manhattan campus up along the Hudson River. It's very doable. Do it on the train. You don't need to drive. You don't need to take an Uber or a taxi. And it's a great place to live and learn. Also, all of our sports are located in Dobbs Ferry. So Number two, what we want you to know about us is that we have a very, very diverse student body. I um, mentioned the 43 different states, the over 50 different countries. I think now for this year, we'll be up to almost 60 different countries that our students are coming from. So we are very diverse and any student coming from anywhere in the world is going to find friends, is going to find a club, is going to find a professor or a friend to be with. Also, that diversity brings a lot of great perceptions. You're going to learn a lot from very different people from all over the country and all over the world, including professors that are coming with diverse work backgrounds and leading to many, many wonderful job opportunities for you. So again, this is from last year. It's higher now. We've got the 43 states around 55 different countries, but our student body is around the same. We have about 10,000 students at Mercy. About 6,000 of those students are pursuing undergraduate or bachelor's degrees. About 4,000 of those students are, are attending master's or postgraduate graduate degrees. So pretty even split, and these students are around all of our different campuses in New York. When you apply to Mercy, you're accepted to all the campuses. You can choose. You don't have to stay at just one. You can hop around. You can live on one one year, live on one another year. It's pretty, pretty flexible as far as building your schedule. Also mentioned our many, many programs and our five different schools. So we have over 90 programs within these five schools. So we have business, definitely our largest school and most popular, both for international and US students. Business administration, we have nine different concentrations. Liberal arts is where our information technology programs are housed. So cybersecurity, computer science, design and animation. We also have courses like history and English writing. We have an education school along with our social and behavioral sciences. Psychology is a very popular and well-known program at Mercy along with nursing. You can learn to be um, a veterinarian. So we have pre-vet studies, animal sciences. We also have pre-medical studies. So it's a very, very diverse group of programs. I would say the things that we do not have, we do not have an engineering school. So we don't have, you know, civil or um, civil engineering, industrial engineering, and we don't have architecture, but we have basically everything else that you could want to learn. Number four, what we want you to know about us is that we are very, very career and internship and work oriented. This is not just after you graduate. We want you to explore careers while you're in school. We help you with all of the international student side of getting authorized to do those internships and those jobs while you're in school. And also we help you with your work authorization after you graduate. We have nine different STEM programs. So if you're just starting your international search, you might 
think, what, what does that mean? What is STEM? Why should I care? Um, STEM means science, technology, engineering, and math. It is very important to international students because you get a little bit more work authorization after you graduate. Um, so if you're interested in a program in that field, in science, tech, and math, please put it in the chat and we can talk more about the offerings. Here's some examples of where our MERTI graduates have gone on to work. Probably recognize that center icon, um, Apple. We have students that work at Apple. We have students that work at The New Yorker, so in writing and in journalism, advertising. We have a lot of students that go into accounting and finance at places like EY, at Deloitte, Bank of America. So Mercy graduates are working everywhere. A lot of that is because we are in New York, so we have a really great access physically. You, know, you can walk to a lot of these places from our Manhattan campus, but we also have really great relationships with all of these companies because they have employed Mercy graduates and Mercy International students in the past. They really like us. Our students are great. They're smart. They're doing a good job. So they continue to hire from Mercy. Number five, student support. Uh, we know you're coming from very far away. <laughs> Even if you're coming from Canada, it's still a very different environment. It's a big change from being at home in your home country, and we want to support you. Um, we do that through our nationally recognized mentoring program. So in addition to me, in addition to your academic and your international student advisors, you're also going to have a PACT mentor. So this person is going to help you with things like understanding your finances, um, helping you fund and apply to those jobs that we want you to get, um, helping you register for classes, if you're having trouble in a class, they're there to help you kind of work with you and the professor. They're there for basically any sort of support you need throughout your entire time here at Mercy. So we're really happy that the PAC program helps our students feel supported. It also helps you graduate on time and have someone other than, you know, a professor that you can come to for help if you need it. Probably the most important slide for many of you. Um, how much does it cost to go to Mercy? We are a private school. We are in New York, so that might sound kind of scary. But I have good news. We are one of the lowest private tuition rates in New York. So for our bachelor's programs, the average cost or the you know average tuition cost without any scholarships is $20,000 per year. As you can see, we are a lot more affordable than some of our main competitors or other um, schools in the area that offer very similar programs, similar offerings as Mercy. But we are keeping our prices low because we want our students to be able to come from everywhere around the world, have access to a great education and access to those opportunities after you graduate. That was a lot of info, but what makes Mercy different? Uh, these are the five Ps. We went over most of this, but just to drive it home, what makes Mercy different? Our people, definitely. People, both our students and our faculty. Our faculty, the majority of them do have the highest degree in their field, but they also have professional experience and a lot of them are still professional people now. They're still working. So that's why we have such great internships. We have people and faculty that are in the field now and ready to bring our students with them. I'll go over the place again. We are in New York City um, and that personal attention through our mentoring program, practical education through experiential learning, internships, and careers, and 94% placement, many of those at Fortune 500 companies. So that 94 placement means 94% of our students have jobs within six months of graduating from Mercy, which is a great high number. Going to go through some of our most popular and our most highly ranked programs for especially our international students. As I mentioned, business is definitely our biggest school. It's our most popular major because it is so flexible in what you can study. So we have these eight different majors within our bachelor's program in business. We have data analytics, entrepreneurship, finance, general business. If you don't know what you want to study, that's fine. I would say come in as a general business major and we'll help you figure it out. International business management, marketing, and sport management. So all of these programs um, are offered at any of our campuses, which is another reason business is so popular. You can take at any, any location, you can take these courses and you can also double major in them. There are a lot of options within the business school, including the business honors program. While you're in the business school, you might want to think about an MBA or a master's program after you graduate. Um, the great thing about Mercy is that we offer an MBA express program. 
So it's a four plus one. If you're a little bit familiar with the US education system, usually an MBA or a master's is going to take two years. If you enroll in the MBA Express program, you're going to get your bachelor and your master's together in only five years. It's also a lot cheaper because you're starting to take those graduate level courses, those MBA courses in your final year of study. So you're saving about $12,000, which is great, especially as an international student living in the city. Another great program, which is full of international students at both the bachelor and master level is our psychology program. This program allows you to take many, many courses in psychology, but a lot of those courses also apply to different majors. So if you're thinking, okay, I'm interested in psychology, but I also want to explore international relations or maybe sociology, or I want to learn Spanish. This major is really good to add those programs and add those courses into it while also pursuing a degree that is very, um, it leads right into careers. It leads very easily or very, you know, progresses well into a master's program and then a PhD program. Computer science and cybersecurity are top programs at Mercy. They are STEM programs. I mentioned the science, tech, engineering, and math designation. So these are STEM programs that give you a little bit more work authorization. Very, very hands-on and again offered at all of our campuses along with our cybersecurity program. Uh, cybersecurity program at Mercy is one of our most highly ranked. We are designated as a National Center of Excellence by the NSA, so that's the National Security Agency in the U.S. Um, through, our, through our government. So we are very well known for cybersecurity. The FBI recruits directly from the cybersecurity program, and the average salary after graduating with a master's or a bachelor's in cybersecurity, it's a little higher for a master's, is a, between one hundred dollars and $140,000 per year. So it's very, very in demand, very, very straight career track, into cybersecurity. This is for some of you more creative people on the call. Uh, we have a Bachelor of Science in Media Studies, radio and TV production. So you're going to be in the studio, you're going to be making short films, you're going to be working on short series, on radio, a lot of sound production. You, take a, you can take a little bit of acting courses if you wanna be in your own films. Uh, but this is a really cool program offered in Dobbs Ferry. Very small class sizes, so you're actually going to get to use the equipment, which is really special. A lot of schools, if you go to a bigger school, you're not going to be able to do what they're doing until your last year. At Mercy, you can start doing that pretty much right away. Our bachelor in biology with a specialization in biomedical sciences. This is a very much pre-medical track. If you want to be a doctor and you want to get your medical doctor degree in the United States, you need to start with a bachelor's in a field like biology and biomedical sciences. This program gets you ready to take the entrance exam to med school. It gets you ready to succeed in med school. A lot of internships and research opportunities in this program. It's for very serious students who want to go on and be doctors, um, dentists, um, a little bit veterinarians, but very, very specialized program. And we also have our Master of Science in Business Analytics. So this is a little bit different than MBA in that it's a little bit shorter. You can do this in a year. Um, it's very data heavy. So you're gonna be learning how to work with data, how to make decisions as a manager and as a business leader using data, data visualizations, um, data management, so lots and lots of data um, and analyzing it to help your business and your colleagues succeed. And finally, one of my favorite programs at Mercy College is our Bachelor of Science in International Relations and Diplomacy. So this program is one of my favorites because we have a great relationship with the United Nations, which allows our students to tour the UN a lot. We have built-in internships at the UN, which is something that not a lot of schools can say. Those are very in demand, very hard to get normally. And of course, a lot of our international students are in this program. Um, they want to go on to be diplomats. They want to work in um, foreign, you know, foreign relations. Maybe they want to work at the UN. So this is a really cool program if you're interested in, um, you know, the global field. So enough about learning. Let's talk about how your student experience will be at Mercy. What is it actually like to be here on campus? So on campus at Mercy Manhattan, so our Midtown campus, we have dorms. You can see that is our main campus building up on the seventh floor is all dormitories. So right now, a bunch of students are moving in. Our classes started yesterday, but we do have dorms available for both undergraduate and graduate students in dorm 34. 
Here's a picture of one of them. They are very, very new, very beautiful, very fancy for New York. Um, if you've visited other schools or seen photos of other schools' dorms, I mean, if you saw school, if you saw pictures of where I went to school, this is not what my dorm room looked like. Um, these are all very brand new. They're pretty big. They have private bathrooms, which is really nice. And they're in the center of the city. So it's a really great opportunity if you are interested in living on campus to check out Mercy Manhattan and dorm 34. In Dobbs Ferry, our a little bit bigger campus, we have two options for living. We have Hudson and Founders Hall. And we have lots of options for you to live, you know, by yourself, with friends, with more than one friend. Um, and I definitely recommend if you do live in Dobbs Ferry or you do attend Dobbs Ferry, living on campus, it's a really great environment. It helps you get really involved in campus, both in clubs and academics, and I encourage you to check it out. So what will you be doing when you're not studying? Uh, we are in New York, so you can wander off into, into New York, see a concert, see a play, eat at amazing restaurants anytime you want, but we also want you to have fun with us on campus. We have a lot of fun campus traditions. Our Founders Festival is actually coming up in either this weekend or next weekend, so that's a whole festival we throw in Dobbs Ferry. Families come, friends come, lots of food, lots of games, and we also have many clubs and organizations. So we have an international student club. We have an association of Latin American students. We have um, a Model United Nation Club, a biology club. There are dozens of them to choose from. And if you don't see one you like, you can start one. You just need two people to start a new club at Mercy. And if you're um, an athlete, we do have 10 sports, six women's and four men's. Most of these are available both at the college level. So very, very competitive varsity sports. And we also have them available at a club level, which is a little bit more relaxed, more fun. Um, you can start playing a sport you've never tried before, and it was definitely one of the ways I made friends when I was in college and the ways that I, you know, found people that I'm still close with today. So I recommend doing all of this no matter where you go to college because it will help you build a network for when you graduate, both socially and professionally. Here are some examples of our off-campus trips. You might recognize the top left slide. That is in Times Square. Our Manhattan campus is about a 15, 20 minute walk from Times Square, which is where Broadway is, concerts, art exhibits, basically this one of the centers of New York. So really great access there. And then we also do off campus trips a little bit further. We go to the Met, we go to Washington DC, we take you to amusement parks. So there's lots of opportunities to have fun on and off campus. So let's talk again about money. Um, how are you gonna pay for all these wonderful things? Here is some you know, direct information about how much it costs to attend Mercy. So that number on the left, that is your tuition, including all of your fees. So tuition means the amount you're going to pay to attend college per year. So our tuition is around $20,000 per year, an additional fee for room and board. So that means your living and your meals. We do not require you to live on campus, but if you'd like to, the prices are there and they're pretty affordable for New York. A lot of our international students will live on campus for their first year and move off you know, later once they figure out the city a little bit more, but it's a great opportunity for your first year for sure. So tuition, about $20,000. We do have international student scholarships for our bachelor's students. So undergraduate scholarships go up to $3,000 per year. So that means they can cover up to 15% of tuition. These are based solely on your grades from your secondary school. So your nine, 10, 11, 12 um, systems vary. Some systems of education are 11, some are 12, some are 13 years, but whatever you did in your, um, in your high school or your secondary school, those are the grades we're going to use to determine your undergraduate scholarship. On the graduate side, tuition varies a lot by program. For example, the MBA program is about $35,000 total. But if you're going to study something like mental health counseling, that's gonna be more around $60,000 total. So it very much varies and you'll see this at every school. Check the tuition rate or ask me, ask Edsium about how much your tuition total is for your program, because it really does vary. Mercy is pretty affordable in many of our programs, including MBA, including computer science is around $30,000, $32,000 total for the program, but it definitely changes depending on what you study and how long the program takes. 
We do have very, very limited international student scholarships at the graduate level. We only offer scholarships in our graduate business programs. Um, and that is just first come, first serve. You had to apply early for them. Um, we have that for the MBA and the Master of Science in Business Analytics. Always happy to talk more in depth about these two. So now that you know everything about us, uh, what should you do next? Here is how you apply as a student through um, our partner, Edsium. Talk to them, figure out what they recommend. They will have a plan for you. They will help you with this process. They will also help you with the application, which is free if you apply through Edsium. When you apply and when you, you know, finish your application, what we need are your transcripts. So those are your degree certificates, your record of your courses with your grades, depending on which level you're applying. So if you're applying to a bachelor's degree, again, we need those secondary school transcripts. If you're applying to a master's degree, we'll need your bachelor's degree transcripts. Uh, if you receive your transcripts not in English, we also need an English translation. We also require an English proficiency score. So the most common test that we see our students providing are TOEFL and IELTS. And those are the required scores. So for TOEFL, for a bachelor's student, we need a 71, score of 71. And for a graduate student, a score of 80. For IELTS, we need a score of six for undergraduate and a 6.5 for graduate. We accept some other options as tests. We accept Duolingo English test. We accept Pearson. We accept PTE. There are a lot of options, but generally TOEFL and IELTS are the most common and also are good to have for your visa application. Receiving an admissions decision at Mercy is pretty fast. Usually takes about two to three weeks from when you finalize your application to when you're going to receive your admissions decision from us. So what about your visa? Um, this is a definitely an important part of the international student application process, and it can be a little bit intimidating, but we help you through it, EdSTM helps you through it, and as long as you are on top of this and you give yourself enough time to do this, then you should be fine. Or at least it'll be not as stressful as you may think that it may be. So basically, this all starts after you're accepted. You receive your admissions decision, you receive your acceptance, then you can start submitting your visa paperwork. You can start submitting that to us the day you're accepted. We need information on your finances. Uh, we never ask for this before you apply, only after. Um, to submit to receive your I-20. So your I-20 form is a form we give you, Form I-20, that allows you to apply for your visa interview, and we issue you that document. You apply for a visa interview, hopefully with enough time to get here to start your classes, fingers crossed your visa is issued, and then we help you with all your next steps on actually physically getting here to New York. But all of this, I would say, know about it, think about it, you will have to do it, but work on your admissions first. Get those applications in, get your decisions, and then start um, on your I-20. So what else can you do? Some of you might not be able to hop over to New York. We understand. We have a lot of virtual tours. So you can visit mercy.edu slash visit, or you can just go to our website, mercy.edu, check it out. There are a lot of virtual tours. So you can walk around campus, kind of like a video game. You can see photos, videos of campus. Definitely recommend doing that. And if you do happen to be in New York, let me know. Happy to give you a tour and show you around. So important dates and deadlines. At Mercy, we do not have an application deadline. We are always accepting applications, but as an international student, give yourself time to do this. If you are thinking about spring, so that would be a January start, you should be applying now. You should be getting those applications in now because it might take a while for you to um, get your visa sorted because COVID, unfortunately, as we know, is still very real and still slowing things down around the world. So application deadline as soon as possible. Mercy is accepting applications for both spring and fall 2022. We'll start issuing those fall decisions in October. So you're welcome to apply now and then you'll have your decisions. You'll be able to start making those plans. For those middle dates, those semesters, those are most of our programs. Some of our programs have a quarter start. Those will start in February, June, and September. So basically apply as soon as you can, both to Mercy and to wherever else you're considering so that you can start making your plans to travel to the US. So I know that was a lot of info, but thank you very, very much for coming. I am so excited to hopefully chat with you, learn about what you're looking for in a school, and answer some of your questions.
Thank you so much, Sonia. It was very, I loved the presentation and loved your energy. It was really interesting. Uh, so um, let's move on with some of the questions that I received. Uh, what, uh, how many hours per week is a student allowed to work during the classes and compared to the holidays? Mm -hmm. Yes, good question. So it kind of depends. <laughs> um, when you first get here, when you first get to Mercy, you're allowed to work in on-campus jobs for your first year. Those are only part-time, but part-time means 20 hours a week. So the maximum you can work is 20 hours per week. Those jobs are paid. I do not recommend you doing unpaid work. Do not do volunteer jobs. Definitely do a job that either pays you in real money or pays you in college credit. We have some internships that will be only college credit. For example, in psychology, biology, you might do a research project, you might do a research course, and that will be, you know, technically an internship, but you're not getting paid. You're getting paid in college credit, which is maybe even more valuable. So you're allowed to work 20 hours a week as an on-campus student. When you graduate, if you apply for and accept a job after you graduate on what's called OPT, which is your work authorization after you graduate, that can be full-time, that's fine. Um, but when you're studying part-time, 20 hours a week, after you graduate, it can be full-time. Okay, great. Uh, so uh, talking about jobs, do you have like a placement office where our international students can go and get, you know, uh, help from to get internships or jobs? Definitely, yes. We have a career services center. So we have one on this campus and we have one in Dobbs Ferry. The Dobbs Ferry one is huge. It's above the library. It is like 20 people are working specifically only to help students find, find jobs. If you're in Manhattan, you're welcome to go up there. You can always Zoom with them. Otherwise, we have a smaller version of that here because we have fewer students here. But definitely, um, both Career Services and our team help you both get authorization to work and find and apply to those jobs. When you graduate, you still can use that service. You can use career service as long as you want. Specifically for our business programs, I would say those have much more specialized career services. They have people actually employed only in the business school to help business students find jobs and internships. So short answer, yes. Um, and it de depends on the major as to, you know, how easy it will be for you to get a job. Okay, great. Uh, talking about the application process, you just mentioned it is like first come first have basis, but there would be some evaluation process, right? So what do you actually look in the application that, you know, makes this application stand out and, you know, get selected? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we definitely need that English language proficiency score to meet our requirements. Um, that is the only, you know, numerical requirement we have. We do not require SAT or ACT, so we're test optional. If you took SAT and your score was great, you're really proud of it, please send it to us. We like to see it, but we do not require it to give you an admissions um, decision. On the grade side, so on your secondary and your bachelor's grades, we don't really have a minimum. We like to see an average of B grades. So on our scale, um, B is a 3.0, so it's a little bit, it's like very high. Um, high average <laughs> in score, and 3.0 is also the GPA you need at the bachelor's level to qualify for an academic scholarship. So if you ever have questions or are a little bit worried about your grades, we're happy to take a look at them and say, okay, you've got a pretty good chance, or maybe you should apply to this program versus this program. So we're always happy to take a look, but I would say just understanding you do need to have that minimum TOEFL or IELTS requirement. We look for an average of Bs, so 3.0 at both levels for bachelor and master's programs, and especially for scholarships are looking at that um, minimum score. Again, we don't require an essay for all our programs. We don't require a resume or a letter of recommendation, but definitely if you have those, send them to us because anything will help us, anything that we can see and we can actually understand who a student is other than just numbers is great, and we like to see that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sonia. I think that would be all. You explained it really well. Um, 
and thank you all for watching if you have any more questions for sonia or for us you can contact us through we have our number 0304 -1 -1 we are just a call away we are we have our head office in lahore if you are in lahore you can come directly to us we can we are always here to help thank you so much thanks again sonia Thank you Amazing. all. See you later. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye.